Search suggestions are recommended queries that appear in a dropdown as users type in a search box. These recommendations appear beneath the search box, and they change as users type each letter of their query. Search suggestions help users to avoid typos, decrease interaction cost, and decrease mental effort. Here are a few tips for designing search suggestions for your site. In particular, it's important to use visual design to support how your users will process this information. First, you'll want to use different text styling to differentiate between typed query text and the suggested terms. Within each suggestion, it's important to show the difference between what the user has already typed and what text is being suggested by the system. There are two different ways to do this, depending on how your site provides suggestions. If, for example, your site appends characters to the end of the user's text to finish the query, in that case, you should highlight the suggested characters. For example, maybe a user types basketball H, and the system suggests basketball hoop, basketball hoodie, and basketball hat to finish that query. In this case, we'd want to use text styling to highlight the suggested characters. For example, we might use a heavier font weight on that text. But maybe your system doesn't just add characters to the end of typed text, but also suggests queries that contain the user's text anywhere in the phrase. In that case, your system might suggest basketball hoodie, but also portable basketball hoop and kids basketball hat. With this type of search suggestion, it's better to take the opposite approach. So instead of highlighting the suggested text, you want to highlight the user's typed text. That way the user can scan the suggestions and see where his text fits within each one. So we have to show the difference between the typed part of the query and the suggested part of the query. But it's also possible that your site might have yet another component in its suggestions. If you have a very large site, with different sections of different types of content, you might be using scopes to limit searches to specific areas of the website. If that's the case, you might actually have three components within some of the suggestions, and you'll need to visually differentiate between each piece. So you have the typed part of the query, the suggested part of the query, and the scope. So if, for example, we have a simple suggestion system where we're appending text to the end of each query, we might use that heavier font weight to distinguish the typed text from the suggested text. We'll need a different visual presentation to show that the scope is yet another component. So we might use a different text color and italics, for example. You can use whichever methods of text highlighting make sense for your site's visual design. The key here is helping users to quickly process the suggestions and understand them.